All right, we're having a fun one today. We're making big batch cioppino. We've got the mirepoix going here with the onions, carrots, celery, and because it is cioppino, a whole two, two big bulbs of fennel, and I've got a little garlic in there. Then I've just poured in some Zambuca. You can use Pernod, but uh, Zambuca works great. Uh, and a bottle of white wine. And then we've got our Italian tomatoes will go in. And we're gonna put all of this on the back of a boat. And everybody's coming by dinghy and bringing a pound or two of seafood. And we're gonna make the chipino. Everybody's gonna chip in. Grazie, arrivederci. Oh yeah, almost forgot the clam juice. I started with anchovies also, I didn't mention that, and then I used clam juice. You can actually make a fish stock, and that's probably more traditional, certainly. Get the fish heads and bones and make a stock out of that and sieve it through, but this is rough cut, back of a boat chipino. So, clam juice and anchovies are gonna give our seafood, but then when you dump in all of the seafood that we're gonna put in here, don't worry, that marinara will turn perfect seafood marinara. Another little dirty secret of the Otellini Cucina <clears throat> is this Naples drizzle. This stuff, when anything calls for red pepper flakes, I like to use this because the oil goes into the pot and it spreads so much more evenly throughout the whole dish to grab that space. And this is right from our own island of Naples. The Naples drizzle on the island of Naples, making a big batch of cioppino that is gonna be taken over to a boat and served off the back to 20 people in dinghies, all bringing a pound of fish and throwing it in the batch. Chip in, chip in is what we'll be yelling and you'll be eating cioppino with the Naples drizzle. Oh, God bless your soul. Guys. We are coming in with Parks, bringing in a little pound of seafood by paddleboard, ain't that right? Things are coming all good. We're starting to circle around. The pot is starting to in here. Thank you. Do you know that uh, mussels, they don't have mustaches, they have beards. See this right in here? This is called the beard of the mussel. It's important that you pull that beard off. So we're doing a little bit of uh, public, uh, I guess it would be hair dressing. <laughs> That's a lovely sound. I've never heard that. Right? Folks, if we ever run out of fish, we can go to the grab some at the Tampico Fish Company. Is that kind of weird fish? That swordfish flying by my head. Do you think that's kind of weird fish eating fish? Fish eating fish. What else are they going to eat? Are they going to go eat meat somewhere? I just always, I can't think about it. It makes me sad. It's like that kid. Yeah. Start reorganizing. Ocean cannibalism. I mean, you know. There's a bear. Here he is again. <laughs> this guy's face. Otellini cuisine. We got the Otellini cuisine tonight. We've been talking about doing this one for a while, and this is a real sweetheart. So the concept is a Chapino night. Now, if you look back in the histories of Chapino, there's a lot of different stories about how it uh, how it was named. Uh, probably the most. Maybe the most real one might be there's a there's a fish stew up in the north of Italy called Chupin, and they say it maybe it came from there, but it actually started in San Francisco. And the concept was down on the docks, where down by Fisherman's Wharf, where all the Italian fishermen were hanging out, they would come in from their fish. One guy would be a, would do a big pot of marinara on the dock, and then as all the boats came in, he would collect pieces of fish from all the different. Uh, fishing boats that were in and they would throw it into this pot but the way he would do it and this is my favorite story this they claim this might not be true but the, you, I'm a believer and I love it anyway the guy would stand on the back of the boat he'd have his big pot of marinara which is actually what we got and all the boats would be coming in from the ocean which is pretty much what we got if you look out here with the camera you'll see all the other boats coming in 
Everybody came in, and the guy would stand next to the pot and yell, come on, and he was Italian, so they always had to put a vowel on the end of every, every word. He said, Chippino, Chippino. He wanted them to chip in and help out with the stew. So he would grab pieces of fish from all the day. He'd go, Chippino, Chippino, and that's where the word Chippino came from. So what we did tonight, we made a big pot of marinara. We invited everybody to come in by boat. We asked them all to bring a pound of fish, and now we're putting all of that fish into our Chippino. So you'll see here, we've got scallops, we've got swordfish, we've got halibut, we've got the tentacles of the squid, we've got, we've got mussels, and we've got shrimp underneath there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all the mussels in, slowly add all the other pieces, we're going to let them boil up inside that chipino, and we're going to have an absolute ridiculous feast on board the Kailani. And we've got bread over here that we're going to rip off, we're going to dunk it into the bowls with a big Caesar salad. Double dip? Double no dip. double dip. So that's good for right. That's good for right now. We'll be back with you in a moment once we start cooking, chef. Woo. <laughs> Only skinny dipping. <laughs> so you kind of start with the mussels. The mussels are going to take a minute to get hot, and they're going to take a, you know, to, to actually get open. And then once those things start cooking for a couple of minutes, all this other stuff cooks quite rapidly in this bubbling crude that we've got. Now we're going to be down to the shrimp, but we're going to have the mussels. Get started. You can see sometimes you need special tools to make chipino. Here we found a little basket, we found a little uh, wooden spoon, and we found a little duct tape, and we made it so it was deep enough to go all the way down to the bottom of the pot. So this could be famous someday. Maybe they'll be selling these, but probably not. <laughs> You've done this before, haven't you? <laughs> all right. So mussels are starting to boil. If you can see those little bubbles coming up in there, it's starting to come alive. We've got that little butane burner, so it's not like we've got a fire like you might have in a kitchen, but you learn how to be able to cook with any kind of fire you've got. If all we had was a match, I think I could cook this shrimp. So we've got more than that. We've got butane. Good for now. All right, now in goes the shrimp. We're actually going to have some fun because we're going to, it's time to get dirty. It's time to get it all in there. So here we go. We're going in the scallops. We got the swordfish. We've got the halibut. We got all that. And then comes the big, beautiful tentacle. Okay, stop. No! You left one hanging. Left one hanging. So now we're going to get those down in the crew. Look at this. Look at how ridiculous this is. Look at all that seafood. Okay, I will say, if, if everyone had smell of <laughs> this, that. this is so good. Look at that. That's just a big, old, beautiful <laughs> pot of seafood. <laughs> so now we got that in there. What we're going to do is, where's my big pan? Where'd it go? There we go. We're going to cover this up. Get some real heat going on it. And everybody's going to grab a cocktail, a Mai Tai, a glass of red, a Campari spritzer. And we're gonna hold or on all of the above, Otellini. Nicely done. All right. All right, here it is. There it is. You scoop a little bit of that seafood in there, and then you ladle over that sauce on top. You add a little Naples drizzle. You roll down into a little bit of that bread, and then you've got that Caesar salad, and you've got Chipino! Chipino! Look at them, they're coming from everywhere. I said it and that boat's pulling in. They're lining up, lining up for the Chipino. Come on down. All right, this is what you call a Chipino party. Big pot of marinara. A whole bunch of seafood goes inside. Everybody comes to that boat. And then we put all the seafood in the pot. This pot. Right here. And everybody gathers around with bread and salad and a pot of chipino. Come on. Cooking is good at Otolini Cuisine.